Front end subtraction is a different way of doing subtraction. The kind of subtraction you probably grew up with uses borrowing, but there is no borrowing in front end subtraction. So I'll show you how it works in this video using whole numbers and decimals. Say this page could be whole numbers. I'm going to show you a two digit, three digit, and a four digit example. Very straightforward. Now, so some people like it. For some people, it doesn't make sense. Don't worry about it. If it's if it makes sense for you and if it's easier than borrowing, then God bless you. Use it. It's just as correct as subtraction with borrowing. So its name is front end subtraction because we start at the front. I'll show you. Say how about a two digit number such as 32 minus 15. See front end subtraction starts at the front meaning on the left because in English we usually start on the left and proceed towards the right. So you don't start in the ones column. So, the first one is 3 minus 1. Well, this is 3 and this is 1, but this is in the tens column, so this is actually 30 minus 10. 30 minus 10 is 20, so you put down 20. Now, 20 is not the final answer, 20 is a, a subtotal. It, it's a 20 is one of the differences. We're gonna have some numbers here. I'll show you. Next one is. We're going towards the right. So next one is the ones column. There's no more column. So two minus five. Now you can either visualize it with an elevator ride uh, from the second floor. You're going down five levels. You're gonna be in park a three or some such thing if you don't have a ground floor or main floor or or main floor. So, but either which way, you're gonna use negative numbers. Negative numbers aren't necessarily natural or easy for some people, but there is no borrowing for sure. What you do is, uh, so you have two lines of information here. One coming from the operation in the tens column, and one line coming from the operation from the ones column. What you do is then combine these subtotals or these differences in this difference area here 20 minus 3 is just 17 now technically we added here 20 plus minus 3 when I said combine the 20 with the negative 3 and yes just like this the subtraction now became an addition it's not surprising any form of multiplications that you do in writing you produce some uh, products and then you have to add up those products in any multiplication that you write down and so it's something like that it's not unheard of so that's how it looks like on a very basic example let's look at another one how about 412 minus 276 how about that one again we start on the left in the hundreds column and work our way towards the ones column. 400 minus 200 is 200 and you write it down just like so. Next column is tens. 10 minus 70 that's going to be negative 60. And just write it down like so. 2 minus 6 that's negative 4. What you do again is combine these. So this is not 200 minus minus 60 because minus minus would be plus. So just don't go there. This is this is an addition uh, part here where you add up the differences, and some of it you have to do it in your head. There is no evidence of some of the operations that you do in writing. Say 200 minus 60 is 140. And uh, you can almost write down the 140, you can surely write down the 100, but 40 needs to be lessened by 4, so that's going to be 36. So that's how front end subtraction looks like. Some of this addition is done with the negative numbers, it has to be done in your head without writing down anything that's visually helping. And maybe let's look at a three digit number over here. How about three, two, one, let's have one more digit, four. How about five, six, seven? Let's just do this one. Three minus nothing, there's nothing there. Now this is not three, this is again 3000, and you start here again 
in the thousands column moving to the towards the right over here to the ones column 3000 minus nothing is 3000 so you just write down 3000 200 minus 500 is negative 300 10 minus 6 is negative 50 and 4 minus 7 is negative 3 you have to make sure that you consistently start with the top number the menu end and you don't inadvertently go 7 minus 4 is positive 3 okay so just like with normal uh, subtraction with borrowing you have to start from the top and work your way down uh, even if you have multiple numbers to subtract it's the same stuff so now you have to combine these again 3000 minus 300 is 2700 so you write down 2700 needs to be lessened by 50 so that's 650 the 50 is almost good to go for writing when the 50 is lessened by 3 so it's 47 so there's the final answer for for this one in some cases where you have uh, long numbers with lots of zeros in it such as like 1 million or uh, I'm just gonna go 10,000 because that fits the page there minus I don't know something 58 so now you have lots of zeros up top and it might be easier for you to do borrowing and cross out the one write down 0 write down 9 9 9 and make that one a 10 and just do it with borrowing but uh, front end subtraction steps also work here so there's an invisible 0 there 0 there and 0 there so 10,000 minus 0,000 is 10,000. 0 minus 0, yeah, you don't have to write down a, a line of 0. Technically, you could, but don't bother. 0, 100 minus 0, 100 is just 0, 100, so don't write it down either. Uh, 0 minus 50, because this is where we are, 0 minus 50 is minus 50. And then 0 minus 8 is minus 8. So basically I've just taken apart the 58 and broke it into two chunks. And the reason why we don't have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 columns, or sorry, 5 lines here is because two of these columns are null. They have 0 in it. So, so next thing is we'll have to combine these. 10,000 minus 50. Well, that's going to be... 9950 9, uh, 50 is almost good to go to write down except 50 needs to be lessened by 8 and that's going to be 42 so that's how it looks like fairly straightforward but uh, you have to work with negative numbers instead of borrowing and you have to uh, add with negative numbers so some people might find it easier than borrowing let's do two decimal numbers just very quickly how about something like 10.73 how about that number and something like 3.9 so that we don't have digits here in the hundredth column and in the ten columns column so again we start at the front with the tens digits and work that way towards the right 10 minus nothing is 10. Just write down 10. But in this case, I recommend that you write down two extra zeros. It's 10.00. Just so you don't fill this spot with accidentally with other stuff. Next one is 0, take away 3. That's going to be negative 3. But I do recommend that for space keeping, you just fill it with extra zeros there. The next one is the tenth digits here, this column here. It's technically 0.7 minus 0.9. Uh, so 0 0.7 minus 0.9 is going to be minus 0.2. And I recommend you write down the leading zeros meticulously and the, and the trailing zeros too if you have to. And 3 minus nothing is just 3 but three what this is three hundred so do yourself a favor make sure you have all the leading zeros in it for sp uh, space keeping 
now you have positive number negative negative positive so just combine them standard procedure but just watch out 10 minus 3 is 7 so just write down 7 7 you can write down 7 it's not wrong but it's not the final answer 7 minus 0 0.2 it's going to be 6.8 just write down 6.8 if you have to, but that's not the final answer yet. 6.8 needs to be increased, because now that's a positive number. 6.8 needs to be increased by that point 0.3, so the last answer is 6.83. There, so that's the final answer there. And if you, uh, yeah, you don't have to, but it's a good idea to have these lines also in writing for your, uh, for your thinking and just circle or whatever your final answer 6.83 so that's how this one goes let's uh, let's look at another one maybe with um, let me see let's make it longer a little bit 5.027 that's just a little bit longer how about one more digit 5 and uh, 2.36 let's have nothing there and 1 how about those numbers and subtract again we start here with the ones digits fairly straightforward 5 minus 2 is 3 positive 3 just write down the trailing zeros for keeping the lines or columns everything together neatly so that's positive 3 next one 0 minus 3 that's gonna be on this place value column is the tenth is going to be negative 3 what do fill it in with extra zeros there next one 2 minus 6 that's going to be a 4 but the 4 is going to be here and it's a 4 hundredth just and it's a negative one make sure you don't miss that one 7 minus nothing is 7 and it's a positive 7 there just do fill it out with zeros like so make sure it's a positive 7 and 5 minus 1 is 4 it's a positive 4 just write everything down just like so alright let's do the math here 3 minus 0 0.3 is 2.7 2.7 minus 0.4 is 2.66 you can either do it in your head or you can start writing it down but I'm gonna run out of space so I'm saving some space here 2.66 and I'm gonna write down 2.66 and that 2.66 need to be increased by that uh, 7 thousandth so just write down the 7 there and the 4 there because they just copy down without any problem there so that's how you can get the total using these decimal numbers with or using a front-end subtraction using decimals there you don't have to be borrowing if you don't like borrowing so that's all I wanted to share about it it's not the solution to everything but it might work for some people in some cases a little better than borrowing thank you for watching